I started CrossFit like two years ago. Uh, I was before playing pro ice hockey level in Switzerland. Uh, then I injured my left knee quite bad. Uh, bad. Uh, I felt like out for like one, one and a half years. I got back first into ice hockey back. It was hard to finding a new club, uh, lost some motivation. Uh, then, yeah, got kind of in this CrossFit thing. And I always liked to train for my own uh, during the summer times uh, while playing ice hockey. So I already had a really good background, like quite strong, quite good endurance. So I got into this, saw this CrossFit, I think on YouTube. Uh, some stuff from the CrossFit Games is like, oh, that looks really cool. Uh, I want to try it. I uh, started more and more train, uh, doing, trying some workouts, program for myself some workouts, and it was actually really fun. And then I, I got the opportunity here from Sam Moritz uh, to open a, a, a gym, a CrossFit box. And that was the start for me, just like, yeah, I was like, of course, that's a dream, that's really cool. Uh, uh, made level one, uh, came up here, started a box, and it was really cool, yeah. So my daily life at the moment is all about training. Like I was coaching the first two years, now since one year I'm just a full-time athlete. Uh, so mostly uh, I wake up like 7.30 in the morning, having breakfast, getting ready my meals for the day. Uh, then mostly I start with a bike session, like one and a half, two hours going on my bike. Long conditioning stuff. Uh, coming here, having a meal, then some, mostly I do like another conditioning piece. Uh, mostly some running, uh, interval stuff, uh, having another meal. Then uh, afternoon is mostly all about the strength stuff, uh, lifting, uh, weightlifting, strengths, then mostly uh, gymnastic stuff as well. Uh, depends a little bit like movement stuff, also like gymnastic strength stuff. And the evening it's swimming or uh, at the moment it's a little bit more swimming in the evening or just like accessory stuff where like it's kind of like this functional bodybuilding stuff, uh, focus on that. Uh, yeah, following my own program is uh, not always easy, but uh, I think I'm in a full-time athlete or like one of the full-time athletes since I'm like 14 years old, so I know my body really well. Uh, I love to trying out new stuff, seeing what it works for me or not. I think my opinion is like every athlete is different and every athlete should do what is the best for themselves. This is why I don't like to follow like a, a program for everyone because uh, it's great for like a normal CrossFit athlete, coming, like a normal CrossFit people coming into the box, doing the daily workout, that's perfect. But on the athlete level, uh, like, high level you are like you need to figure out what works for you so uh, uh, normally I just to see what I have to work on I go to competition see how I do if mostly there's like one or two stuff where like oh yeah maybe I should work a little bit more on that or program for myself a little more that and uh, then I do that and otherwise it's just like you know uh, I want to succeed in a sport I want to have success so you have to do the stuff you don't like. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's. I'm working on it. Like, like you said, like mostly at the moment, uh, I'm not a big fan of wall balls. This is not like my kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just a, a short boy. Uh, otherwise, it's not much. What I don't like is just like I have to get better on it. Uh, let's take regionals this year. Uh, my worst event was a 12th place finisher in a box step event. So it was not a really bad event, but it was just like my worst one and I had problems with the box steps. So I have to work on my box steps, you know? So that's the thing. Uh, 
This is how I, I take out my weakness. Yeah, so I'm really excited to go to Madison this year. Like, I'm really happy. Actually, I was 216 the last year in Carson in California, just to see like that epic tennis stadium, you know, like this is how I started CrossFit. I, I saw people like Rich Froning in the tennis stadium competing and I was like, whoa, one day that will be a dream, you know? Uh, I, wanna, I wanna be there in this tennis stadium. So 216 walking into this tennis stadium, just gave me goosebumps all over and it was amazing to see even we flow over to the range uh, where everything started so it was a great experience so I'm really happy that I saw that back then in 2016 now I'm really excited like uh, to get to Madison I heard cool stuff about it like the whole town is just like crazy about CrossFit because it's just a smaller town uh, and the venue also so it should be great so I'm really excited about that, like the regionals back in Berlin were like amazing, so many people were there, the quote was cool uh, and now I think the game is just like five, six times more but similar like that and this is why you train hard every day just to get there and enjoying that as well. So yeah, if you're new in CrossFit, like you have, in my opinion, you have to do make two different, like make a difference between like a normal person doing CrossFit and an athlete. You know, like, I cannot go into like triathlon or Ironman as like, okay, I started now, in two weeks I make an Ironman in eight hours, you know, or like going to compete in the world champion in Hawaii. So this is just not possible, yeah. Same here, like people come in here as like, oh yeah, I watched this CrossFit game stuff on YouTube. They were they like snatching 140 kg and stuff like this, like, man. Don't worry, this is not this is not gonna be your first session or where they like yeah they took in those D balls and like I cannot even lift 70 kg from the floor now. This is like this is what I mean, it's the difference. The CrossFit Games is like the world championship in Iron Man, it's just the highest thing in the sport, so don't come in and compare with that. Uh, even what I said before, like the athlete is different. Like for me it makes no sense to do like i um, my daily Basing or training is like six hours a day. For me, it makes no sense to make six hours of workouts, you know? So I specialize, or I try to specialize more on the movement and the, uh, and like endurance stuff, weightlifting stuff. But I think the CrossFit methodology just for a normal person who's coming in, okay, I have one hour time to train. Uh, I wanna have every day something else, like something different. Uh, come in, I have one hour, just high intensity. I think this is the best thing for just the normal people. Uh, yeah, normal people. Just like for training, you know, I think it's better spend than one hour going to a global gym, sitting on, having a chat with your friends, sitting on a machine and doing some bicep curls, you know, like this is, I don't think so, this is how you get to the result. Like nothing about bicep curls, I like them too, but you know, you can do them after class. <laughs> but this is what I think, so the CrossFit thing, the one hour high intensity uh, with different movements every day, I think it works great for like the everyday people. And this is like where you have to make the difference between a, a normal daily person and a high level athlete. Yeah, so if I wouldn't be like a CrossFit athlete, I don't know, like my dream was for like 12 years or like since I'm like five years old to being an ice hockey pro player. Uh, I did everything for that. I, went, I left my home with 14 years old, going to a sports school uh, uh, back in the city here in Switzerland. Uh, like my all like even the years were like six like yeah from 14 all over to 22 it was just ice hockey twice a day we practice uh, we had training uh three or two games a day a uh, week sorry so it was just all about that and then at some point when i had the injury like the dream was like okay this is not gonna happen and it was like damn what i'm doing now so one year i was just like thinking like it was not a great year for me but then I was like, I wanna 
I want to live my dream and my dream was back then to be a professional athlete and so I got into this CrossFit and was like look this is maybe another opportunity and like if you do it right go all in and try and if it works it's good otherwise you have to find something else and at the moment I'm living my dream it's not an easy dream but it's my dream uh, so if I could challenge one one guy in Europe would definitely be like Björgen Gudmundsson uh, from Iceland. He's like the best Europe athlete at the moment. He, uh, the last few years he was at the games, uh, 215 he was third place, otherwise he's always like top five, top ten. So he's at the moment the man to beat in Europe. Uh, this year regionals he was not 100% fit so I beat him. But it would be nice to go against him when he's like 100% and then see what happens.